Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 112 of Prog Review. And if you haven't taken time to read the description, or you have failed to recognise the opening graphic, I'm talking about Steve Howe's Beginnings album from 1975. If you haven't been watching these in sequence, I'm doing a run of albums recorded by Yes, well, the various members of Yes, the solo recordings after Relayer. Again, when after Relayer was recorded, they were instructed by their management to go off and propagate the world with solo albums. And so they did. And so it came to pass. And Steve Howe Beginnings is one example of that. I've already looked at Patrick Moraes, John Anderson. Hmm? We've got Chris Squire to come and Alan White. So Steve Howe's Beginnings. Now I used to own this album on vinyl, but it's seems to have mysteriously disappeared from my collection so I had to go off and repurch this on, on, on the old iTunes and become once more reacquainted with the record um, yeah I mean like Patrick Moraz and Chris Squire's albums well it is sorry there's a little bug flying around here somewhere it's putting me off putting me off should I edit this out no um, where was I? Um, yeah, the album features many of the Yes Chums. Should we call them that? Yes Chums. And on this one, you see Alan White, Bill Bruford and Patrick Moraes make an appearance. And the sleeve itself is designed by Roger Dean. So it, it makes the whole package feel very much a part of the Yes family. Oh, look. My battery light is blinking. We all know that what that means, don't we? Now, I'm not going to be able to get this review out before the battery runs out, but shall I just plow ahead and see what happens? Yeah, let's, let's go for it. Um, <laughs> uh, the music featured on the record demonstrates exactly what Howe's contribution is to the Yes sound, and all manner of stylistic ticks and tweaks are evident. And you immediately start thinking to yourself, Oh, this would be good on a, as a Yes song, or you know, this would be good on a Yes album. Unfortunately, this isn't a Yes album, and there's one thing that stinks up the whole the whole place. Are you ready? And that one thing is, are you ready? Steve Howe's voice. Oh, it's like a strangulated, tortured fart being squeezed through a colander, leaving you with nothing but a greasy aftertaste. Howe's voice is so weak and feeble, it taints every note presented on the record. It, it is, truly is appalling. Oh, I am sorry. I know many of you don't want to hear this. You know, it, I, I'm so, I am really sorry. But there is a rule of rock, and that rule of rock states that guitarists should keep their fucking mouth shut and play their guitar. Yeah, yeah that's actually written. You know, on, on the, the tablets brought down, you know, from the... Sorry, a, that fly's putting me off. But yeah, that is a rule of rock. So, yeah, he broke that rule. He broke one of the commandments. And anyway, that's what guest vocalists are for, Steve. Get a guest vocalist in. Why waste your time stinking up the record when you could get someone else to do it for you? That didn't come out right. Um... Now, while the musicianship is very strong, obviously, and there are many moments that are engaging, enjoyable, it really is sport by that watery diarrhoea that's coming out of Howe's mouth. Yeah. Standout tracks are Nature of the Sea, Beginnings, which is a faux baroque piece. Uh, I think that's the one that features Patrick Mraz on the harpsichord. Ooh. And Ram, which sees Howe return to the short, jolly acoustic patch that he made famous with Clap and Mood for a Day, and it's very good. But as the rest of the songs on the album are blighted by his pitiful vocal stylings, I find myself listening to the record through gritted teeth. Actually, listening through gritted teeth. 
the button st the little light still flashing I better get a move on um, it's a real shame because how he's an accomplished musician he is he is brilliant he's a brilliant guitarist and he brings a lot to the table there are a lot of good ideas on this you know there's a lot you know the songs aren't bad it's just it's just he he shouldn't have sung but don't let me let him let me ruin it for you you might like steve howe's voice you may get something from it i didn't but if you want a more satisfying steve howe experience i direct you to the album that comes immediately afterwards the steve howe album which features almost exclusively instrumental tracks with one vocal piece which is sung by claire hamill and she does a very good job um, and again if you want to hear uh, another great instrumental record by howe uh, check out Turbulence, which is from the early 90s and features quite a few uh, pieces on it that, that have been remoulded from the Union album. So you can see what his contribution was there. Um, also, you get Elfie Dolloper, the mighty Bruce on that album as well. Oh, email. Um, as a rating, I'm going to give this two Willow the Wisps out of five. Yes, that's two Willow the Wisps out of five. I find it hard going, I really did. Uh, but if you like his voice, you know, you'll probably have this as a beam feast, you'll probably love it. But yeah. Wait a minute. You know, it's all coming back to me now. I remember when I had that copy of Beginnings on vinyl. I sold it. Enough said. My name's been Darren Locke. I've been babbling on about Steve Howe's Beginnings album. You've been a wonderfully patient audience. I'm going to wrap up really quick now. Thumbs up, thumbs down, da -la -la, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, do de do de do. Uh, the next one up is Chris Squire's Fish Out of Water. That should be fun. And, um, oh no, we've already done Chris Out of Water. What am I saying? The next one up will be Alan White's Ramshackled. Oh dear, this is what happens when I record them all out of sequence. I forget what I'm doing. I need me special brain medicine. Yeah, Chris Squire's one came before this, and Alan White's is next. I hope you're following this. Only one more thing to say. Are you ready? Prog on. I did it before the battery ran out. Yes! Result in your face. Canon 600D in your face. I'm the winner. I'm the winner now. I'm the daddy. I'm the daddy.